Welcome back to The Prophet Speak. Today I want to talk about worship in this new era. And there are some profound things coming through about worship. Not least, someone who I have met, in fact we shared the stage at a conference once, Bob Sorge has released a new book called Worship in the New Era, Next Wave. And he does a brilliant job of taking the reader through the history of, let's say, spirit-filled worship since about the 60s and how it's developed and periods of spontaneity or when musicality became uh, stronger and stronger uh, uh, and even stagecraft as it's become stronger over the years. But what he concludes is that we've found ourselves in the most recent decade almost back in the 60s version of what worship was, which was we kind of just sing four songs in a row-ish, and that's pretty much it. And he talks about quite a few things. I want to highly recommend that you get the book, but one of the things that really resonates with me is getting back to a raw, spirit-filled, spontaneous, prophetic kind of worship that we've had types of in the past, but has largely in recent times disappeared. In fact, worship in many places, even places that will call themselves spirit-filled, has become much more about observing perhaps what's going on on the stage and life has become, even by the very design of our rooms, perhaps a little bit more about what's happening on the platform rather than what's happening with all of us because God's looking for worshipers not worship leaders. I read this the other day. I don't even know where it's from, but it just resonates with some of the things that I think God is correcting in the body of Christ today. Listen to this. It says this, the 16th century reformers shared a deep underlying concern that late medieval worship had become a kind of spectator event. The congregation was largely passive. Worshippers, if they could be thus described, were essentially observers of the drama, of the mass, and listeners to the words of the choir. The service of divine worship was not an event in which the congregants were participants, so much as spectators. The quality of worship was therefore measured not by the holy joy of the worshippers, but by the standard of the music, the excellence of the singing of the choir, the aesthetic impressiveness of the drama of the mass with its vestments, uh, bells, incense, and of course its Latin. Worship was for all practical purposes done for you vicariously. And I think there's been, as lots of good things have happened in worship ministry over the last couple of decades, there's also been a sense in which as churches get bigger and stages get bigger and the lighting rig gets bigger and the band gets louder, that sometimes the congregation is almost forced into a kind of passivity. Not true everywhere. I know that you can rise up right wherever you sit in any place and go, no, I'm going to worship. But there's very subtle, thing, uh, subtle things happening where I'm not quite sure that our stage design lines up with our theology truly. What we really want is an uprising. And this is what happens in revival, an uprising of the people, the body of Christ rising up in worship and in praise and in following the Holy Spirit, almost like a, a murmuration of starlings as we move together, led by the Holy Spirit. I believe something radical is happening in the area of raw, spontaneous worship from the body. In our church, we're almost quietening the stage down a little bit to give more room so that the stage, the pulpit, is not occupied by just a few people, but rather the body of Christ is coming through. Listen for a new sound from heaven. It's coming through in this season. Don't smother it with our stages and our pulpits and our platforms. Let's listen for the sound of the Spirit being born in the body of Christ. Something new is arising. Let's give him space. I highly recommend this book, Next Wave, Worship in the New Era by Bob Sorge. The link for it will be in the details of this little program. I hope you got something from that. Uh, I keep uploading these every day at midday at the moment, but if you want to get the full prophetic word straight away, come and join our online learning community. 
the tribe. We've got 700 modules of teaching on the prophetic, leadership, worship, creativity, mental health, all kinds of stuff uh, just to help you grow in God. We've got Zoom sessions together. We've got books that you can receive. There is currently 50% off uh, the annual memberships at the tribe for tiers one and two. Come and join us and let's grow in this prophetic journey together. Hey, but if not, see you midday tomorrow and let's have a remarkable time listening to God's voice.